Hello YouTube, Mike Kohanim here. Today I'm going to talk about all of the gems you can get from the inaugural Duelist Cup in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. For those who just want to know how many gems it is, it is a whopping 2,900 gems for an event that lasts under two weeks, and most of those gems you can actually acquire just by playing, even if you're not winning. As you can see in the shop, 2,900 gems would cost approximately 50 US dollars for you to buy. The Duelist Cup gives you an opportunity to get that many gems for free in a matter of days. 1900 of the gems available in this event you can get by raising your Duelist level. As you can see here, every time you raise your Duelist level, you get a reward, and the majority of those re rewards are, in fact, gems. There are also some Duelist Cup reward tickets that you can get along the way to unlock certain cards. But none of those cards are particularly valuable for competitive dueling, so the gems are a bigger reward during the first stage. There are also some really nice uh, card sleeves for the inaugural Duelist Cup, uh, which is definitely a cool thing to add to your collection as well, which you can get just for reaching Duelist Level 5. Keep in mind that if you start the Duelist Cup at a higher rank, for example rank 10 for hitting Diamond, in the previous rank season, you will automatically get all of the rewards leading up to that duelist level uh, as soon as you boot up Master Duel. So those rewards will not be lost just because you skipped those levels. Uh, so you are able to get the full 1900 gems for ranking up. The other 1000 gems available for you to get during the Duelist Cup come from the exclusive Duelist Cup missions that you have the duration of the Duelist Cup to complete. Normal or special summoning a monster in the Duelist Cup 200 times will net you a total of 250 gems along the way. Dueling in the Duelist Cup will actually get you as many as 500 gems if you duel the full 50 times, and activating a spelling trap card in Duelist Cup can get you another 250 gems uh, by activating at least 100 spell and or trap cards. It took me approximately 50 duels to hit Duelist level max in the first stage to complete that first stage in a couple of days. And along the way, I actually completed every mission other than the Spell and Trap Card mission, uh, which just leaves 10 gems on the table, and I do intend to complete during the second stage. The 1,000 gems that you can get for completing these missions have nothing to do with your win ratio or skill, so you can really play any deck you want and still complete these missions and get those thousand gems that are up for grabs. Raising your duelist level, however, will require you to win duels and will take a considerable amount of skill. If you want to complete it quickly, I recommend using a more powerful deck. I breezed through the first stage of the duelist cup using a sword soul deck, uh, and that will make it pretty easy for you to accumulate a lot of gems if you have a limited amount of time to play during the duelist cup. It unfortunately looks like the second stage of the Duelist Cup will not be awarding any sort of gems. The uh, awards in the second stage appear to be cosmetic and uh, title oriented. Uh, so it's really about the pride of winning and being able to show off your skill as a duelist. So if you just want to grind the gems, grind for gems, uh, take advantage. I recommend taking advantage of the first stage of the Duelist Cup and using a deck you're comfortable with to complete the missions and reach for duelist level max. Most of the in-game Master Duel events do award a considerable amount of gems. This one really struck me just because of how quickly I was able to accumulate those nearly 2,900 gems with fairly minimal amounts of playing. The bottom line is that I would encourage anyone to play in the Duelist Cup to get those gems to help build their collection, regardless of their skill level, uh, before the Duelist Cup ends in approximately another week. Even though there are no gems up for grabs in the second stage of the Duelist Cup, I am looking forward to it as an opportunity to test my skills against other duelists and get some exclusive bragging rights prizes uh, that you can't quantify with gems. If you found this video helpful, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel. It greatly encourages me to make more videos like it. If you're looking for a deck to use that can easily get to Duelist Level Max, I'll put a link in the description of this video to my Sword Soul deck 
Guide, uh, which is the exact deck that I use to hit Duelist level max in the inaugural Duelist Cup.